Hey everybody, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write estimates faster, which means more money. Now before we get into the video, I wanted to let you know that I have my comprehensive self-paced level 2 training. It has certification prep built in, and I have all of the sketches that are contained in the workbook. So if you ever get hung up on a sketch, don't worry about it. You can just watch how I do it. I also have available the digital workbook if you want that. And one more thing, I've got some live Xactimate training coming up. So if you want to have a class with me, then make sure you check that out. That's coming out June 17th through the 19th. Links are in the description below. Now let's jump into the video. Now one of the ways that you can become faster when writing estimates is using your calculations and your variables and sub-variables. And I know what you're thinking. I don't use sub-variables. I calculate everything manually. Well, I'm going to show that that's really probably not a very good idea unless all of your estimates involve just a square room. So let's jump into Xactimate and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we've got this game room and this may be a pretty common scenario where you have a room where you're not painting all of the walls. So this room has drywall for its wall covering except for these walls here. The drywall is covered by paneling that they put up in 1978. This paneling isn't painted, it's the original paneling. So if you have some damage in this room where you end up painting the walls, then you don't need to include the square footage for this wall, this wall, and this wall. So the question becomes, okay, well how do I subtract this square footage from this room? First of all, let's look at the total square footage for walls in the game room. Hit properties, total square footage of walls is 647.31. Okay, and I know a lot of people are like, well I'm gonna, I do this manually. Okay, well, let's, let's do that. So we're gonna subtract this wall. So we have 15 by eight. And then we have six foot two by eight. And then we have five foot nine by eight. That's what we need to back out. And so since we're going to use a calculator, then we're gonna to have to convert these measurements to a decimal. So 15 by eight is 120. And six foot two is going to be 6.16 times eight. And that's 49.28. And then five foot nine is going to be 5.75 times eight equals 46. Now, if you add all that up, total square footage that you need to back out is 215.28. Okay, so now we can go back to Xactimate. And here's what I see a lot of people do. They go to estimate items, they come over here to paint, Let's do two coats. And then come down here to walls, minus 215.28. And then hit OK. Now the problem with that becomes, let's say you're working for a carrier that requires you to show your calculations. Meaning, how did you arrive at that 432 square foot figure? So you have to show what you did. Well, in that case, what you're gonna have to do is come back here to your calculations. Now this is going to sound complicated and it is, but what you're gonna to have to do is walls, subtract, and then we're gonna do two parentheses. We're gonna do order of operations. So first thing we're gonna do is 15 times eight. And we're gonna put this in parentheses and then we're gonna put add another parenthesis. Our next wall was six foot two by eight. So six foot two times eight foot. And then we're going to add. Our last wall was five foot nine by eight foot tall. And then we're going to put another parenthesis. And so basically what we're telling the system to do is add up what 15 times eight is, a six foot two times eight, 
5 foot 9 times 8, add that up and then subtract it from the walls. So we hit OK. And we were just a little bit off, probably due to the way that the system rounds and some of the decimals I was using. I was only using two characters in the decimal. So doing it that way, if we're showing our calculations, then we're at 431.98 square feet for the walls. And so that's how a lot of people do it. But let me show you a better way. And we're going to use our sub variables here. What I would do is come over here and hit PNT, P2, and we're going to grab this item here. We're going to scroll in, and we're going to highlight the walls that we want to paint. So we're going to drop it here. We're going to drop it here. We're going to drop it here. Drop it there. Drop it there. And then the last wall is right there. And so now we're done. Here's our square footage. The system automatically added it up for us because we estimated it graphically. Now you could type this in manually, but you don't need to do that when the system will do it for you. So you can see how much faster that is. Rather than doing the mental math and figuring it out manually, just use the system how it was intended to be used. Use graphical estimation and use your variables and your sub-variables when you're figuring those calculations. Anyway guys, make sure you check out my Xactimate training. I've got self-paced level one, I've got self-paced level two, and I've also got the live training coming up. So links are in the description below, and I will see you in the next video.